Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and this is a follow-up video to the one I did previously where I ordered for delivery from G&L Nurseries. They're in Smithville, Ontario, which is around, like the Niagara St. Catharines area. Now, Heo, who is Rex's son, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but his, Rex's son, he takes care of the deliveries and, you know, packed up my parcel, sent it off on Monday morning and I got a tracking email saying that it would arrive on Tuesday morning between 9.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. But of course it didn't arrive. Um, it only arrived this morning and it's now Friday. So I'm hoping, guys, I haven't opened the box yet, I'm hoping that the plants survived. Um, of course, the COVID-19 is having a big impact on Canada Post. Now, let's have a look. I didn't know, I'm dying to see what's going on inside here and I'm hoping, as I say, that they're okay. Now I will say, succulents are probably, usually, one of the better plants to ship. But the only thing I'm worried about is, it was so cold at the beginning of the week. I don't know if you guys remember, it's April, what's today? April 24th, 25th, I'm not sure what the exact date is. And we had really, really cold weather on Monday and Tuesday, and they were actually calling for a cold weather watch. So, we will ju I'm going to, so I'm going to bring the camera around now and we're going to zoom in and you can, we can see together whether my plants made it. Okay, so let's take a look. Well, first of all, they're packed beautifully, as you can see here. Um, each plant is individually wrapped and then they have um, some stuffing in the middle. So they're, they're very nicely wrapped. So let's try and get them all out first. And because they're so closely wrapped together, they would have actually insulated each other, hopefully. So let's just see what we have. It would be such a shame if they died because of the cold. Okay, so let's open the first plant. I should actually have my list because I can never remember anything, guys. When you get, when this is what happens when you turn 56, you can't remember what you did yesterday. So, um, oh look, so this is wonderful. Look, they're, they're packed in a fiber. Okay, so, so far so good. So here is my first plant. It doesn't, I'm hoping it's going to come back. It's a little soft. So this is the Echeveria Agavides lipstick. It's, it's very soft, I don't know. Hopefully, it, they feel really cold, guys. So I'm going to plant it up and hopefully it will survive. Looks looks better than I thought they'd look, so we just fingers crossed. Okay, so the next one is... Now, of course, I won't be able to identify these guys. <laughs> I don't know which was which, but look at that, sweetie. So that, let me think, I think this is the um, Pachyphyton. I, yeah, I think this might be the Dr. Cornelius. I'm not 100% sure. You guys can correct me if you know, but look at how adorable that is. Look at all the little babies in there. That is so incredibly cute. That actually looks looks good. I don't think that one will have any issues. And let's see what we have here. So here we have, this must be the, oh, look at them. So they, these are the watermelons, string of watermelons. One fell off there, but um, they, they're pretty good. So they look like they have, they have traveled very well. I love these, aren't they so cute? I, I said in my other video, they remind me of gooseberries. I don't know if any of you ever had gooseberry bushes in your back garden. They're so sour and bitter, but you always had to make jam out of them just for the fun of it. <laughs> but anyway, they look great. I think the only, the only one that feels really cold for the moment is the Echeveria. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. This is so exciting, guys. Super exciting. So this is... We have to, I, you know what I'm going to do? When, I'm, when I have them on the video screen, I'm going to give the, the correct identity for them because I am a disaster. But look at how gorgeous that is, guys. 
so beautiful. That one over there, that one traveled very well. What we got in here? Here is my Buddha temple. It's only a tiny little thing, but I'm delighted to get it because it's so hard to get. Now let's have a look and see what this is. This could be Dunn's cap, is it? Yeah, so this is Dunn's cap. Look at that. I had that before and I managed to kill it, so I'm hoping I don't do that this time. I love this plant. I think it's so cute. And this is hardier than others, but it wouldn't be hardy enough for Canada. But in some countries, that's hardier to a lower temperature than a lot of succulents. Okay, what do we have here? Oops, oh my goodness. I nearly pulled off the flower. Hold on, let me put it down here and do this a little bit. Oh, look at the sweet flower. This is the Cotyledon Elysiae. And I, this is the one I thought I had last year. But now that I see it here, I don't think it is. Maybe my one was a jade, but look at how adorable that is. And this has a beautiful bell flower, and that looks fabulous. That looks lovely and healthy, so I'm really happy with this. Let me lay it down here. I lost a leaf, but that's okay. What's the city bitty one? What have I got here? No idea what it is. Anyway, <laughs> this could be the Gracta Petalum blue bean. I think that probably is it. Look at the size of it, but isn't it the cutest thing you ever saw? Okay, so let's put that over here. I gotta find pots for everything, but I have an idea for some of them already. Oh my goodness, this is sticking to me. Stay. Okay, let's get rid of some of this so that we have a better look. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is the white bear paw. So if you remember, I said I thought I had that, and I did. I'll just show you. So I think it's the same, although this one isn't as furry as this one here, but I can never have too many bear paw guys. I absolutely love them. So let's put this guy over here, he, he traveled very well. Oh, this is the Gollum. So this is the Chrysula Horn Tree Gollum. Yellow red tip. Look at that guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it. Stunning. And what else do I have? Oh, here's my peanut cactus. So I got my original one from Rex. And as I say, it got mealybugs and then I managed to kill it. So, gently and it's in flower oh my sweet lord oh it's in flower guys i don't know if the flowers will survive but oh my gosh this is my first cactus ever to flower look at this isn't that just fabulous look at how healthy it is and there's new flowers coming oh i'm so excited guys so excited. That is gorgeous. And last, no, I've two more. See, this is what happens growing you. I can't order one or two plants like everybody else. If I'm shipping, I go, oh well, I might as well get more and make it worth my while. Now, I think this one might be the Dr. Cornelius. Actually, 
which one did I think was the Dr. Cornelius? And there was one over here that I thought was this one here. So no, I don't think, I think this is the Dr. Cornelius. And this, I'd say, is a cotyledon. It's probably the orbi orbiculata. This is probably the cotyledon orbiculata. But as I say, I'm going to double check them, guys. I put the names on when I put up the video. And here, oh, look at this. This is why I love cotyledon. I just think they are so incredibly cute. Yeah, I definitely had this one before. Okay, so I think this is the cotyledon pendants. So incredibly cute, guys. So that's amazing. So there were five days getting here, but they survived. And we did have a really cold spell their first day out. So all in all, I'm very pleased with this. I think it looks stunning. So here we have the cotyledon pendants. The cotyledon alicia. The, the cotyledon white bear paw, the cotyledon orbiculata, the chrysula buddha temple, the chrysula horn tree golem yellow red tip. So impressed with that. <laughs> The Echeveria Agavoides Lipstick. The Graptopetalum Blue Bean. Now I'm probably saying these all wrong, guys. The Chinese Dunce Cap. I'm not even going to try what's uh, written in front of that. <laughs> the Pachyphytum Dr. Cornelius. peanut cactus, the sedum patrophyllum rose, the string of watermelons. So the only ones that I didn't get were the string of hearts and the moonstones. Okay guys, I just thought I'd show you all my beautiful babies all planted up. This is just a temporary home for these two because I need to get individual little pots for them. Okay guys, I'm a good waterer, so I get away with pots that don't have drainage holes, but if you're not a good waterer, don't put cactus and succulents into pots that don't have a drainage hole, because um, they will die very easily if they're overwatered. So let me come over here. I'm so impressed with this. I think this is gorgeous. And here is my Echeveria. She has pride of place on the top. Now this one here is, I didn't get it this time. I did get it from Rex, but I got that one about two years ago. You can see it's a little wrinkled. That plant does like water and it is from the Cotyleiden family, which I didn't realize. And let's come around here, take a look. So I think these look stunning. They're going to take pride of place in my kitchen window. And I'm very happy with my purchase. Very happy indeed. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Take care guys, stay safe and have a wonderful weekend.